Hmm. Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Dan Plays Games from the Elder Times. Dan. Uh, game from the Elder Times is Pool of Radiance. Plan through that for, for my first time. So if you're expecting a speed run, this is the opposite of that. This is... This is a this is a slow run, <laughs> is what this is turning into. But uh, you know, 1988 game new on Steam this year, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to discover this award-winning classic from 1988. Let's go see some awesome 1988 graphics and interface. <laughs> yeah. And sound, right? Amazing sound design. I'm sure you're hearing the the nun sound in the opening credits. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. So tasty. Hey Perkins. Uh <laughs> little little slow to launch. You know, one thing I noticed um today for the first time actually is that there's an option to turn off the portraits. Right, so any of the any of the monsters or you know your own character shows up, you get the portrait. So there's actually an option to just turn it off entirely, and the manual says something like, "Yeah, the portraits take a long time to to uh, to draw on screen. So if you want to speed up your experience, you can just turn off all the portraits." Which is a really interest an interesting moment in time. Uh, all right, so I got my handy dandy uh, co decoder wheel here for. Ye old time copyright protection. Uh, or you needed some kind of paper to get through it. Is that it? Yeah, that's the elven rune and the dwarven rune. Kind of a little almost hashtaggy type thing. All right, that's you. Great. Okay, so follow the dashed line and you get wyvern. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nice. Which we've actually seen a wyvern in the game, actually, which I was not happy about, but I did I did get through that okay. So load up my A team here. I do remember, I certainly do remember dial-up internet. Um, when I was when I was in college, um, I had I had a band, and at one point we took our dial-up internet modem sound and 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 worked it into a song, actually. Ah, so that's certainly baked into my mind. Back when I was at Papyrus Racing, I, uh, I actually got a modem specifically to, uh, to be able to do, uh, do NASCAR racing from home, as a matter of fact. Uh, great. Okay, so kind of recap uh, where we are. Last time I did finally, <laughs> I did finally take out the Temple of Bane. Third time was, in fact, the charm. Got uh, good, good initiative rolls. That worked in my favor. Managed to take out the high priest mace pretty quickly. So, and then it was just, you know, go through this giant friggin' army of orcs. So finally got on the other side of that. Was really hoping that my wizard near Jarini um, would get fifth level, and she did not. She's kind of close, but I didn't hit the level where I get to just cast fireballs, which I need like in places like the the, the kobold lair that has a bunch of trolls in it. Yeah. So, um, I've checked for leveling, I've uh, distributed treasures as much as I can, as, as smart as I can possibly do that. As you can see, everybody's healed up, I got spells back. Um, one thing I did was, because we found this big cache of magic in the Temple of Bane when we were done with it. So I did distribute a, basically a second magic weapon to most everybody, and specifically, I picked a magic weapon that you can throw. So if I run into a situation, so it, and, and this might be you know bad strategy in this game, but as a longtime D and D player, I want to make sure that if I you know get a, a magic item taken away from me by a trap or a green slime or a black pudding or a rust monster, or on and on and on or a thief, <laughs> uh, that I've got a backup magic weapon. And I also want to, if I get in a situation where I'm have to fight like a white or something that's only hit by magic, I want to be able to tag it maybe in desperation with something that I throw at them. So that's what I have going here. I hear that. I hear, right. I hear, now that Perkins, that, um, I didn't, for some reason I didn't have to deal with that so much, but the issue of like actually taking over the home phone line in order to dial into the internet or connect computers, for some reason I, I managed to dodge that. 
I guess I, I guess um, I guess I, I guess I managed to get I managed to get out of my folks' house before that was a thing. Fortunately, that's interesting. Man, the first time I ever played a multiplayer video game, uh, I had friends that had apples and they connected to apples, you know, locally. And we were playing, I think it's called Strategic Conquest. Oh man, I remember that night. That just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. This multiplayer video game for the first time, probably we were probably in college, so probably like age nineteen twenty. We stayed up all night. I remember. I remember the sun going down and the sun coming back up, and we just sat there playing that all night long, like it was never going to end. Amazing. Um, yeah, good to see you tonight, uh, Laura Suda. My, you know, my instinct is I actually want to go and I want to go hunt for the nomads. So I've had this commission, it's the oldest commission that I have on the books at the moment of um, keep the nomads from connecting up with the bad guys here. So my instinct here is to actually go hunt for the nomads. Um, I feel like I should be able to deal with a bunch of one hit die guys, frankly, and then hopefully level up and then and then be able to take on the, the kobold lair after that. That's kind of my instinct. And I, I, I want to, you know what, I want to get out of town. I've been sp spending so much time in the city, in the textile house, and the Temple of Bane. I want to, I want to get out, get some fresh air, is my instinct. So I have uh, given most of my spellcasters stuff that would work against men. So a bunch of sleeps and charm persons and stinking clouds and stuff like that. So that's I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go traipse in the wilderness and try to find these nomads. And I don't, and don't tell me, but I, I actually don't have any hint at all about exactly where they are. So. Um, that's kind of my instinct here. By the way, Laura Sudo, um, you know, last time you were asking about our intro that showed uh, Mold Bay's The Lost City, Module B4, and you're wondering where that came from, Paul pinged me after the show and said specifically that was in uh, Wandering DM Season 1, Episode 15 is where that is. And Paul, uh, that's an episode about Infravision. And Paul tried that out as a good example of a basic dungeon map of like, how far would Infravision see for you how would it around this corner or this far or down this tunnel so that's uh where we were talking uh lost cities like a ca canonical dungeon adventure as a good example of how how far infravision will take you so i which which is funny because apparently that was three years ago and it just seems like yesterday that we had that conversation right yeah right i never would have guessed that You know, here, here's a you know here's a side quote. Yeah, thank you, thank you for asking about that. Um, so um, yeah, I, I, and I'm looking at uh, Kamikaze Mark's uh, comment there about um, turn-based games, and that I, that was the first multiplayer game I had. That Strategic Conquest game, right? Was totally. I mean, and then I remember when games suddenly weren't turn-based, and uh, you know, it's funny because I was working at uh, Papyrus Racing, which was part of the same corporate structure as Blizzard. And, um, you know, I walked in there and people were playing Warcraft 2. And I was like, wait, what? It's not turn-based. What's that? That's crazy, I said. <laughs> um, and, you know, so those of you who are experts here, let me just throw out a question. I, uh, can I change a character's portrait? Because I was just kind of idly looking at my characters earlier today. And uh, here's Nir Jarini, who's my dedicated wizard, who's also the strongest person in the party. <laughs> so so she's got she's got 16 strength, and I'm routinely using her as the mule of the party to carry around a bunch of big stuff, which seems kind of foolish, granted that her portrait is like this frail little woman. So my, so all of a sudden today, I have this instinct as I wish I'd picked a different picture to make her burlier, frankly, sort of to remind myself about the situation, but I'm not finding any way to actually change the character portrait. So is that only editable at character generation? <laughs> She's a Tunnels and Trolls magic user. <laughs> eh. Anyway, if the, so I, I'm, I, I feel like the answer is probably no, I can't change that. But if you know the way to do that, I think I'd... I feel Nir Jarini needs a better depiction of her, of, of her, uh, her wisdom and her brute muscle that she brings to the table. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, let's try this. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head out in the wilderness here and see what we can do tonight. 
Now, I think I can, I mean, I think I, if I could go all the way, I'm assuming I could go all the way through the city to the west and get out of the city past the textile house, because I'm pretty sure there was a passage outside over there. But instead of going all the way through the slums and the Kudos Well and the Poto Plaza and the textile house, I'm just going to take the boat over and see if I can get around the long end of the city here. So I get focus on the game board again. Yeah, right. The, the abilities are... You, I clearly didn't arrange them to taste. <laughs> I want to go to the north side of the bay. Bam. And there's your Rini pays, because she always pays. She's she's the team leader in my in my 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 assumption is that she's the team leader, so. Alright, let me get my uh my map of the outdoors here. Again, the Adventurer's Journal has these journal entries that have these big maps, and I've never officially obtained this, but I'm so I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I'm looking at these. I'm looking at these outdoor maps and the maps of the map of the overall city, and kind of trusting it. So let's uh, leave the city. <laughs> you know, yeah, th you know, I was on the cusp of checking back at the trainers, but I, I, I was thinking that it just sent me back to the encampment menu, basically. So I guess I, I, I was right. I was, I was like right on the cusp of, tr of trying that, and was like, nah, that's I'm probably misremembering. Okay, so, uh, so when I went, so last time when I went east, right, that's where over by the, I guess, past the, the, the Quivering Forest and the Twilight River to the east I'm seeing, that's where I wound up with the kobolds, so I'm not going to do the, exactly the same thing. Uh, let's... All right, I tried to go north there, but it just sent me back here. Leave. Did that, did that give me an option to go to the graveyard? Is that what it said? You're in the eastern edge of the city. There are north and south entrances into the city. Hmm. I feel like I saw something. I feel like I saw something different there, but maybe I didn't. Okay, let's try. Hmm, yeah. You're on the north edge of the city. Will you enter the northern city gates or enter the graveyard? That's, that's what I thought. The graveyard's around the other side, right? I, I, I didn't know it would even let me just go to the graveyard that quick. Got it. Got it. Okay, let me, you know, let me just write that down. That God, I was, I was so close to doing that. Kind of weird you have to go to the trainer for that. So maybe next time, I probably won't do that on, on, uh, on the stream here tonight, but maybe next time we'll, you'll, See, see evidence that uh, Nirjurini has been working out, is what I'm hoping. Da you know, David, I'm really glad you saw that, uh, that uh, episode uh, yesterday with the talk show with uh, Jim Davis from WebDM. We, uh, we like those guys so much. We, we, we enjoy, you know, uh, spending time and chatting with Jim and or Emma and or Pruitt when he's around so much. So if we can, we can get a little slice of their time, we always enjoy it a lot. Yeah. I totally, you know, there are some guests that I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know if this is going to go okay. And I get a little stressed out about it in advance and I, you know, do more prep. And with Jim, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be a breath of fresh air and it's going to be so, you know, so casual and, and um, uh, just a good time for all of us. Leave. Okay, so not going to the graveyard. It's funny that I can even get to it from here. Yeah, I guess I guess it is on the north side of the river, isn't it? Ooh, the, the river stench drives you back. Okay, so legitimately polluted river. So you know, so Despero, I might be accidentally pursuing the river pollution here, even though I didn't intend to. You surprise a group of kobolds. Okay. Oh, you know, I'll I'll try to parley. So obviously these are wanderers. This probably won't work. I'm gonna be. Let me haughty. Like I'm I'm clearly a higher level than, than needs to fight kobolds. You have insulted the kobolds. The kobolds attack you immediately. This seems like a poor choice on their part at this point. 
Uh, let me see what we're facing. Well, that's a pretty good number. 29, so we get 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, it's about 21 there. So uh, Harton, I guess, I guess. So what I really, I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna be aggressive here and go at them. And if I can get one of my wizards to cast sleep, which is which is longer range than you would expect, Mailwind can do that. Okay. Yeah, I would. I mean, actually, I would. I wouldn't have minded these guys running away. All right. Here is your sleep spell. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna hit the 300th episode. You know, I'm pretty. You know, at some point on my blog, I'm gonna hit like 10,000 comments pretty soon. Yeah, they're pretty well spread out, actually. Uh, I guess right here is good. Yeah, and Paul and I are talking about like what guests we can have next year. We we have a couple folks coming up in the, the next month or two before the end of the year that we're looking forward to. Well, that's as, that's that's what you want right there. That worked well. And if I can get my fighters into sweep attack mode, that's obviously what I want. Weird, uh, weird foliage over on this this side of the city. Bunch of bunch of cacti. I might as well. I might as well go for another sleep as long as I'm standing here. This is enormously overpowered, obviously. Uh, like these guys here. <laughs> Elfine. <laughs> I'm 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 not officially asking for that. You uh you you make you make good decisions about your own life there. I'm officially not asking for that. <laughs> yeah, right? It does seem out of place, but you know, some variety, that's fine. I feel like I don't even no, don't do that. Man, I wish I'd been an error message like that when I when Griffith cast hold person on himself, which is I think gonna go down as the worst thing that ever happened to me in this game. Oh, you've got, you've got missile weapons. All right, well then I am gonna shoot at you. Ouch. Jeez, that was, <laughs> that, that hurt to look at that. That was, uh, that was ugly. Jeez. So at this point, Mailwin herself can probably just wipe out this whole band of kobolds. Uh, quarter staff, switch the darts. Is everybody, if I pay, if not this guy. So uh, here's Cadell, who again was uh, voted MVP in the Temple of Bane fight, fight last time. So he he's the one that took out Mace and uh, a whole bunch of orcs and defended the whole flank basically alone. So I'm glad he's around. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not being, as you can tell, I'm not being totally optimal in this fight. But I don't think even think I need to waste ammunition, frankly. Talk about that stupid cactus. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let me, um, let me actually switch back to the sword. <laughs> It's okay, so I got sweep attacks going. Let's see how this works. Good. Good. There you go. That's what you want. So I'm trying to get, so I'm trying to position these guys, right, to be adjacent to as many kobolds as possible. Good. There you go. Well, that guy wasn't even asleep. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. That's see, that's classic D and D right there. Ah, bloody stupid cacti! Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, there you go. So now everybody's asleep. And basically, that's the fight. Is that blocked? Yes. You know, there are times when I... So, for a long time, I wasn't honoring the uh, what, we, what we're calling the sweep attacks rule here in my original D&D games. And then last year, I you know was doing some analysis and I was like, yeah, I guess I have to do that. That's certainly built into the, the system, um, particularly with the enormous numbers of wandering monsters in the wilderness that you see in original D&D. And then I was like, okay, uh, I, ran a, I ran a dungeon adventure a couple months ago and I was like, you know, the one disadvantage is in the dungeon, you need really more monsters than fit in the rooms in order to counteract the sweep attacks. So once again, I'm just a little bit on the, on the fence about that again. But uh, I suppose the counter argument is uh, once, you're, once you're at that level, you're probably not going to be fighting a whole lot of one hit die stuff in the dungeon anyway, so... Tiny amount of experience for those guys. Do we have that's that I'm not I'm not dealing with that. You know, one thing I'm not I'm I'm not super happy about um, is my my party members are a little bit slow. I have enough stuff at the moment uh, that most everybody has a move rate of six, and I think near Jarini has a move rate of nine, I think is what I have currently. Yeah. So I'm not super happy about them being that slow, but like with the spare magic items, right? Um, I don't think it makes that much difference. I want to have a backup weapon that we can use that for cash later if we need to. So. Yeah, definitely the, the whole sweep attack thing is definitely more of a wilderness thing. Um, yes, what do I do? Oh, they're just talking about that gear stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. So now I use two sleeps. I, I think I can probably keep adventuring without without having to camp, I think. Hmm? I didn't take any didn't take any damage. This is where I usually push things a little too far. Okay, so I cannot go over the river because of the terrible stench. Ah, what is that? So I see on the map, this is this thing here is called Lake Kudo, apparently. Can I... Hmm. You have found a rowboat hidden amongst the reeds. Will you take it to the pyramid? Hell yeah. Well, that's interesting. You are in front of a magnificent pyramid. You have found a secret door that leads into the pyramid. What will you do? I'm going to enter that. Well, that's interesting. Okay, did not expect this. 
a secret door is found behind you. I, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens in a pyramid. <clears throat> yeah. Gonna, gonna raid this, <laughs> this tomb-like structure here. Um, <laughs> uh, prepare to be annoyed. Consider myself, I'm girding my loins for annoyance right now. Thank you for that. Thank you for that advice. So, okay, can I see? Okay, I can't, and I can't pull up an area map. Just for a second, I was like, that's not changing at all. You know, let me, let me do a little bit of mapping here, just in case I get lost. I'm going south. Is that the deal? I'm going south. Turn that around. <laughs> All right, let me see how far this tunnel goes. Hmm, okay. Can I... Oh, a secret door is found in front of you. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, now no spoilers, right? I agree with Alphine. You know, no spoilers about where there's secret doors or anything like that. Um... Uh, I, I guess you were, you were just reminding me that behind me was the secret door I came in on. Yep, got it. Uh, so I found another one here. What? Did I turn around? What happened? What the? Does it just go straight through it? Is that what just happened? What the, what the ding dong? Okay, just a second exit, all right. You know, that would be interesting, Lord Sudo, if they, if you had like a classic uh, dungeon that just like is in the middle of a, of a, of a video game or, a, or a, uh, an Easter egg, actually, that would be awesome. Okay, all right. So it just goes straight through the place. All right, uh, so I guess I have to search here. You see rocks scattered about the smooth flagstones. As you move through the room, there is a flash and you suddenly find yourselves elsewhere. Oh, it's a teleporter. Oh, okay. Uh, annoyance uh, achieved. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I'm facing north. Uh, wait, no, that's, this is, this is, I see, facing south, and now I'm facing north. Uh -huh. Am I in a dead end? Yes. Is there a secret door here? No. Okay. Different wall surface. Hmm. Okay, so there's a little rocky, okay, so kind of rocky surface where you come in. It goes like this. A secret door is found to your left. So, it's gonna be going south, I guess. Huh. You see a group of five lizard men, they hiss at you. So I'm looking this way and it opens up to my right. I think this is the first time I've actually been mapping on the stream, actually. So I really don't want to, uh, I really don't want to get lost in this teleporting pyramid. I promise that trying to, yeah, trying to memorize it. I, I felt that. I totally, I, that, this I felt. Once, you, once you're in a new space and it doesn't let me map and it's teleporting me, that I don't want to do. It. Um, yeah, at least it told me I was being teleported. Uh, okay, lizard men. Their leader says, Foul servants of Diarsh! 
What? I don't, I don't even know who that is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advance and parley if I can. Standing ready, their leader says, You must be the servants of your ash! I haven't got any idea what you're talking about, buddy. They are wary, but not hostile. Okay, so totally going to parley. Thank you for the, for the monster manual illustration. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nice. I'm like I, I, I do not know who who Urash is. Nice. Since you are not the servants of Urash, we will not kill you. The enemy of my enemy is not my enemy. That's a that's an interesting take. <laughs> that's an interesting take on the old idi idiom. You know, that's a nice illustration. That is, that is a really nice illustration in the original Monster Manual. Okay, can I... Okay, still can't map. That's a big room. Okay, that's a very big room. <laughs> oh, a secret door is found on my left. Okay, so I'm currently facing east. North, east, west. So I'm currently facing east. It's on my left. Wait, this is the one I came in, right? Hit return. So I'm just going to go around looking at everything. Same thing, right? I guess, I guess the... Secret door is found behind me. So now I'm back here facing north. Is that right? Okay. So there's that. Yeah, I felt I felt that that wasn't going to give very give me a, a map, but I figured I'd try. Um, so going north, a secret door is found to your left. Wow. Uh, I don't even know how to map this at the moment. Does it just always tell me where there's a secret door? Is there like a roll being made for fun? You've entered what looks like an ordinary alchemist lab recently used. <clears throat> hmm. Recently used by an alchemist. So, kind of a smallish room. You find a notebook. A typical entry reads, Subject 213, progressing well, scars healing, unable to talk yet. Subject 214, died when treated, failed again. Well, that's, <clears throat> okay, somebody evil doing experiments on some hapless preacher. Hmm. Oh, I like that, Perkins. I like that a lot. What a difference! Uh, what a difference a good illustration makes. Had a character reincarnated as a lizardman. Did you ever have the uh, the original D and D Rogues Gallery, <clears throat> right? It has hundreds of pre rolled NPCs, and then it has like special characters at the back from people actually at TSR. Did you ever have that that Rogues Gallery? It's not in front of me, so I'm currently facing west. Got it. Because the uh, I can't remember the name of the lizard man PC in there, but obviously coolest coolest thing in the book. I think many people would agree. Great illustration, great character portrayal. Okay, now I'm back in a rocky corridor. <clears throat> Facing north. I think I should have used a different piece of paper for what I just did. Uh, let me check out this south branch. Okay, so that is a dead end. It's probably the end, probably the edge of the pyramid, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's the alchemy. You know, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I didn't search all the alchemist lab. Probably that journal is the only thing, but I might as well... I'll just get in here and search the rest of it. Put on the search. So that's the one I think I came in originally. Mm 
Here's the one I want to go out. Got it. Okay, so now I'm facing north. Turn the search off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so diagonalization, got it. Got it, now I'm going east, got it. Right, and he's huge, that, you're right, the lizard man, the rogues gallery is huge. What's the name of that guy? I can't remember, like. But I think that was the first time that it like it dawned on me that you could get reincarnated and actually play as a new type, which all of a sudden made reincarnation like the coolest spell ever. Yeah. Jaggedy, 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 jaggedy. <clears throat> yeah, Judges, Judges Guild had good products. Am I, I'm gonna take a wild stab here and say that the rocky wall is the exterior of the, of the pyramid probably. It feels like I probably, I'm running around along the north edge probably. I'm going south again. I'm gonna turn on the search here just in case there's like a secret door that I miss. Doesn't seem like there's any wandering monsters here, which allows me to be a little bit more careful about my uh, my searching. As you move through the room, there is a flash and you suddenly find yourself elsewhere. Well, that's not what I freaking wanted. <clears throat> All righty. Where am I now? So this feels like the lizard man room? Maybe not, I don't know. So if my theory about the rock wall is correct, that's, I'm facing south. This would be compatible with the big lizard man room. Okay, so theory would be that there's a secret door along the next wall right here. That's the lizard man room. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Right, I have not searched this corridor to the right. Let's do that. Yeah, long door, long corridor. Secret door to your right, okay. Let's do that. Yeah, right, right. So facing a big rocky wall, which is the southern end. You have entered a room filled with a horrible assortment of torture instruments. In the center is a large table with metal restraints. So there's a torture room. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's got searches. I'll go look at the center. The walls are lined with flasks and bottles containing powders, oils, ointments, and drafts. Droughts. I never know how to say that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I've been playing this game for a long time, and there's another word that I don't think I've ever said out loud. I've seen that like a million times, and right all of a sudden I realize I have no idea how to pronounce that word, whether it's drafts or droughts. Draughts. Draughts? Drafts? All right, now I'm going to look that up. Sorry, I'm such a stick. I'm such a stickler for this. You guys probably know drafts, yeah. How many of these D? How many of these D and D words have I have I read like a hundred thousand times and never never dawned on me that I don't know how to pronounce it? Drafts, yeah, you're right. Drops, drafts, drops. I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Whatever A with an umlaut over it is. <coughs> great, great. <coughs> I think I need, a, I need a draft right now. All right, uh, alchemical bottles. Can I, can I get one of them? Can I use them? This seems very... Let's 
the door I came in. Boy, th this you have to map. Boy, if I wasn't mapping this, I would be instantly lost. Hmm. So I'm not finding anything in this room. I guess that's it. Drops. Drops. Okay, yeah, all right, I see that. All right, so more down this eastward turning corridor. <laughs> you know, I met a I met a friend, uh, I, I made a friend from Germany, right? And we, here we are as, you know, adults and we're both professors of computer science. And um, what was it? And we were, and uh, so, you know, guy grew up in, uh, you know, Germany, totally different background than I have. And we both realized that we both grew up mispronouncing the word sword is what one of us said, you know, I, for a long time as a kid, I, I pronounced the word sword as sword. And the other one, and we, and I, and I said, yeah, me too. I did the exact same thing. Isn't that crazy? You see rocks scattered about the smooth flagstones. Okay. So am I about to be teleported again? That's clearly the, the, uh, the edge, the, uh, Eastern edge of the temple. Move. Go back, move on, throw a rock. Throw a rock? Throw a rock. You throw a rock, suddenly it disappears with a flash. Got it. Okay, so that's permitting me an opportunity to discover a teleporter? I guess. <clears throat> Do I want to use the teleporter? No, there's another there's another corridor that goes north. Is that right? There's another corridor that goes north that I could take behind me. Let's try that. Let me. But move on. We'll probably go forward. I'm going to go back. There's the alchemist lair. Or a disintegrator. Oh God! Now. Ugh. Does this, does this game have disintegrators? If I see like a, you know, if I see a green devil's head, I'm gonna be real careful of that. Okay, so that is the, whatever that was. No, that's right. That's, that's the alchemist lab. So I haven't been up here before. Going east, going south, back east again. That's pretty long. Going south again. Yeah, dead end. Yeah, that makes sense. The secret door is found to your left, which will be going east. Let's do that. Big room stretching to my left, right? So this is the ed the eastern edge of the pyramid, okay? Stretches off to the north. You have entered a room filled with large vats with the same oily black stuff that flows from the fountain. Got it. The chamber stinks. On the walls are shelves of bottles and flasks. This feels like I'm gonna accidentally solve the river pollution. <laughs> I absolutely did not want to do that. That's, see, that's also classic D&D. Like, I, yeah, we helped you out. Right, we, yeah, give us a reward for that thing we weren't aware we were doing. Um, so I got the search on. That's a big room. Oop, lizard man. As you are poking around in the vats, a pain-crazed lizard man surfaces and attacks you. Two others quickly join him from other vats. Oh, no. Are they, like, driven mad by somebody? I don't know. Mutant Lizman. Got it. They are AC3 with 18 hit points, which seems like about three hit dice. Uh, no, it's four hit dice, actually. Hmm. Okay, so I don't see, I mean, um, right, you can't, you can't charm an ogre. I could, I, I would have 50-50 if I hit one of them with sleep. Stinking Cloud, that's, that would be nice. So... 
just see what Griffith has, nothing. Now, normal, I think nor, normal lizard men do count as persons for things like charm person or hold person, but these, these mutants, I'm assuming, are not, I'm assuming don't qualify because they're, they're like double hit dice. So how about we hit that dude? Ack. I want to I want to see that that two-handed sword get used. Um, so here's Harton. I guess I'm going to hold the line here. I'm going to do this. I'm guessing that I I mean maybe you've tried this. I'm guessing that I you, that I can't I can't do that with these guys because these are these seem to be four hit dice monsters. Um, all right, so let me move. And there's just three of them, right? There's just three. Okay. Let's move here, here, cast Stinking Cloud. I got a couple of those. Yeah. Good. Not so good. What does what what Near Journey have these days? So I'm not going to use Stinking Cloud on one of them. Um, well, that's a good, eh, you know, that's a good argument, this barrel. You're right. The th I'm, it, you know, the fact that they're not labeled lizard men, technically, right? Liz mutant lizard man. So there, here's, a, I'm debating whether that counts as a lizard man or a completely different type. That's good advice. You know what? That's good advice. We, you know, we should, we should exper okay, that's good advice. We should experiment um, when we have the chance. I'm going to try, I'm going to try my first level of charm person here is what I'm going to try. Kind of a, a spell that I'm not going to hate if I waste it. my movement six okay. Okay. okay so I'm trying to I'm trying to get back attacks here is what I'm trying to arrange nope okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this guy out bam good great good I think it did say it did say unaffected, which is different from from saving, I guess. Nice. Hmm. Right, those guys have like three attacks each normally. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. That's smart. Twelve points. There you go. I wanted to see Griffith make contact with that magic two-handed sword. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, so that's not too bad. Looks like no treasure. Uh, let me see how far down everybody is. So if somebody's five hit points down, I would use a Cure Light Wounds on them. The, oh, right. I have that on a spreadsheet now. That's what I did. <laughs> Party info. Fuck, this spreadsheet's too big. <laughs> All right. So Griffith is down six, and Cadell is, as usual, he took a beating, so he's down 10, and Malin's down four. So I'll heal those first two guys. Cleric, heal thyself. <laughs> the, holy, the holy trinity of the monster manual, yeah. 
Do you guys like that? Do you guys like the 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 claw claw bite? Because I've because a lot of the times it's for tiny damage. If you look at the damage, it's tiny, and a lot of times I'm like, I think I'd rather just have one attack with a D6 rather than having to roll six dice for tiny amounts of tiny bits of damage. Okay, good enough. He's down by two. So uh, reminding myself of my protocol now, and then I and then I rearm. I think does everybody have does everybody have melee up right now? Yes, 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 and no. Of course, it doesn't make it doesn't make any difference in your journey because she doesn't have a shield, so that's fine. Okay, and uh, do, 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 and then search. Okay, so I already got the search on. Well, Cadell is only down by two. Is that right? Maybe, you're, maybe we were talking about before I healed him. So Cadell's only down by two, so that's fine. Um, okay, so searching the room. Not finding anything. Oh, I'm getting, I get, I'm getting a message from Restream here that we've had 100 messages so far today. Thank you guys for joining in. This is great. I totally needed this tonight, frankly. Another kind of rainy, cold October day in New York. I guess that's it. I guess. Okay. I was hoping I was about to find something neater than that. So that's apparently that's everything in this room. Have I? Let me. Did, does it look like I've searched every space? Do you guys? I think I, I think I did a zigzag through the whole room here. It's only it's only three spaces wide, so I guess that's it. All right, so back out here. There's some in here. That seems to be a dead end. Okay, so now I've. I'm not entirely sure what that map is telling me now. Um, I like that ale fiend. I actually like that. I think that's how I want to do big cats nowadays. I think is that what I do now? Something similar. I feel like that's a good instinct. And to my right, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there because now I've confused myself with my own map about what's on the other side here. So this is the, uh, whatever this is. Yeah, so there's the dead end, right? Oh, is this? Okay, that's the western edge of the, of the, of the, of the pyramid. Okay, that, that I hadn't figured out before. So that's the western edge. So where the hell is that? That Now I don't understand where that first corridor could even fit. All right, so I think, I mean, is that the secret door? Yeah. So I feel like I have to go through that possible disintegrator. <laughs> So I'm going to go back. I don't, I, at the moment, I don't see any other way of making progress than to go back here. East, right? Go this long corridor east and go through here. It's a torture room there. All right, so here's here's hoping this is not a disintegrator. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on, move on. As you move through the room, there is a flash, and you suddenly find yourself elsewhere. All right. So I'm pointed south, in a dead end, I assume, not on the edge of the temple. Pointed south.
where could that possibly fit? I mean, I would have to be, assuming there's only one level here, I have to be on the northwest end of the pyramid, I guess, unless there's more than one level. Okay, let me not, let me not scramble my map up by assuming that. So I'm gonna may, just just in case this is a different level or something, I'm somewhere in the depths of the temple facing south. South, east, west. Turning west. Back south. Now east. Why, why would anyone assume there's only one level of a pyramid? That's a good point. We clearly saw on the outside, there's multiple tiers. So that's north. Hmm. And then back east is what's about to happen. Back west. That's it. It's an interesting little, okay, so then there's a, I don't know what to call that, a archway to the left. Weird. So th I'm sort of, uh, what, what, am I, what am I thinking of? I'm, uh, like this game's turning into like a, what is the name of that game that Tron was based on? You know, the, the bikes that are trying to cut, cut each other off? What am I thinking about that? So I'm, I'm hemmed in by all the other corridors that I was just wandering through a second ago. So then I go west. Yeah, dead end. Interesting. So I guess I'm about to have another teleporter here. I didn't see any other secret doors or exits or anything. Throw a rock and it's gonna do that. Suddenly it disappears with a flash. You know, I'm gonna, I am gonna move on because I don't see any other way. Did that, did that, is that? I feel like there was an earlier game, like uh, like snakes or something like that. Nah, I don't know. Also, I feel like I'm thinking of the game Kicks, which is different for some reason. So I'm gonna go through here. There's a flash and suddenly you find yourself elsewhere. I'm gonna take all the all the teleporters. So I mean that could be that could be over in that corner over there, but now where is this going? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want this to be a tesseract, thank you. Please no. Please no. North, south, east, west. Okay, my desktop, my my computer desk is being covered with post-it notes at the moment. So I'm clearly on the western edge of the pyramid based on that rock wall. So I'm here, pointed north. Let's try this. You see rocks scattered about smooth flagstones. Oh my God, there's more? Now I have to do one of these three, three things. So I can't, I feel like I just want to move right. Can I, can I go back and just go right? Go back. And so I, I can't, so I can't go through there and then turn right is what's happening. I mean, maybe, so if I throw a rock, it doesn't, maybe, maybe it temporarily, no, like maybe it temporarily deactivates the teleporter. So I guess I have to move on, I guess. 
Hmm. Well, that's an interesting, that's an interesting puzzle. So now I'm somewhere facing east. Good gravy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna I'm about to run out of post-it notes. <laughs> so I'm somewhere in a northern corridor. I'm not on the edge of the I'm not on the edge of the pyramid. There's a northern corridor, and there's a western corridor, and there's a archway. I'll just go over here. Hmm. And apparently there's a teleporter here, which I will not take. South and west, so it must be around here. Going south again, going east, going south, west. So a little snaky corridor here. South. Hmm. Hmm, that, I, did, I did not expect to go in that direction. But north makes sense. Yeah, I must have done this and this and gone by there, I guess. Teleporter? No, teleporter? Are you kidding me? What? Dead end? I didn't... I did not expect that. What the ding dong? And of course the teleporters are, you know what? The teleporters wouldn't be bad, that bad if they were two way. But of course the fact that they're one way is like, uh. this is slightly reminding me of um, uh, those adventures by the, the people that made Dragonlance. What's his name? Tracy. Uh, because one of, one of his uh, desert of ice, de desert of desolation modules is like this. It's just like a ton of teleporters. Yeah, you're right, Perkins. I'm not seeing any rock walls around here. Tracy Hickman, there you go. Thank you. One of those Deserts of Desolation modules is like a hundred like little tiny 30 by 30 crosses with a hundred teleporters in it. Which is like, okay, man, that was that was a little excessive. I think it went maybe went a little overboard on that. So right, so here's this teleporter right here. What is this, like at least the sixth time I've been teleported? All right, so I'm back on the edge of the pyramid somewhere. Geez, that looks like the place that I came from, unfortunately. So on the western edge, Please don't be a teleporter right here. Now, I hate to say it, but now I think I'm stuck. So if I... So that sends me back here. I guess I should mark where I'm actually showing up, right? So there's... Huh. So unfortunately now I'm being, I'm being ping-ponged between these two places and I'm not seeing any other exits, unfortunately. Right, there's nothing here. This just led to a dead end. I've 
got the search on, so I'm looking at everything I can possibly look at. So there's this dead end. Oh no. I mean, okay, so maybe something else happens. Maybe maybe throwing rocks does something different someplace. Because this, this is... All I'm seeing is that dead end and then the teleporter right next to where I showed up. Which is down here. All right, so I'm throwing a rock. Does this do anything different? You throw a rock, suddenly it disappears with a flash. No, then does moving on do something different now? I'm just gonna be back in that short corridor. Oh, no, okay, thank you. All right, good good hint, good hit, Perkins. So this that did not send me to the same place. Good. Okay, so what is that? East? All right. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So I'm backed up against the western... No, wait, am I back here? I'm back. I'm back in... It's a huge long corridor behind me. Okay, so apparently I can teleport in here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, all right, okay, 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 thank you. I needed that. Good, good, good. Uh, all right, so I'm not back here. Hmm, what have I not explored? Um, okay, so if that's the case, then I can go hunt out teleporters and throw rocks and see where it takes me for a different location. Uh, okay, I get it. So I should try that way around here. So there's a big twisty tunnel going north and east here that I'll take. Because I don't think I tried throwing rocks at the teleporter at the end of this. Hmm, what? Hmm, I didn't mark that. What? Oh man, I totally just got myself lost. How did the, what the hell just happened? Oh no, am I back in the I'm back in the vat room? Is that the deal? I, I, I'm back in the vat room. That's what happened. Sorry. Hey, definitely, Joe. I'm in a mazy pyramid. I, I did. I did beat the Temple of Bane last time. Uh huh. So I'm post. I'm post Temple of Bane. I was. I was scrupulously trying to avoid cleaning up the dirty river, but I seem to have stumbled into the source of that accidentally. Okay. So what I'm trying to do, let me just, so this is a dead end, right? So what I'm trying to do is get to the end of this corridor up here and then do the throw rock before I walk through the teleporter. down here. Okay. Interesting. So throw... What? The ding-dong? What? Oh, it just... 
Did I did I have the option to throw a rock? What just happened? So I'm back. I guess I'm back in the lizard man in the in the stinky lizard man mutant room. There's a secret door on my left. What the? Is this a new place? Have I just confused myself, or is this a is this a genuinely new place? Yeah, this isn't sinking. This isn't hooking up on my map all of a sudden. So I'm facing. No, this is different because the, the rock wall, see that rock wall is on the south and in the vat room, it's on the east. I get, I get this, this was, this was the original. I think to whatever, whatever the place was where I parleyed with the lizard man, I guess maybe that makes more sense. And the secret door is straight ahead of me here. Okay, okay, okay. That's this is known. This is known territory. So I'm here. Got it. So I'm here. All right. I'm reoriented again. Great. Um, so it didn't let me. I'm I'm going to do that again and just confirm that I didn't do that too fast. I didn't have to hit enter every time there's a secret door. Including the one that I just went through. Okay, so let me just do this again and I'll be a little more careful. So maybe maybe there aren't rocks at every teleporter site. I guess maybe that's what I'm overlooking. Okay, so here I am here. Teleporter ahead of me. Looking for rocks. No rocks. That's the deal. No rocks. Okay. Got it. I guess I show up. I guess I show up here. Is that right? I'm to my left. So I'm looking south of the rock wall. Why is there a door to my left? Know what that's about anywho okay so i'm back here so have i have i tried throwing rocks at the one at the end of this quarter down here did i do that so throw and then move throw and then move on Okay, so this sends me, this feels new. I don't remember if be just staring at an Eastern rock wall. I don't think. Bah. Okay, well that just blew that theory because now everything's all rock. Am I back where I started? Is that the deal? Is that, am I back? Am I back here? I guess I'm back here. That's the teleporter that I went through initially. And the exit's down here, is that right? Yeah. Okay, all right, so I'm back. Okay, so I'm back in the entry quarter. Ooh, all right, got it. 
So don't take that. Do take this. <laughs> this is going to be deadlier than Mace ever was. I hope not. As you move, okay, so there's a flash from here. Yeah, I don't know. Right, so I don't need that because that was the same place where I started. So I'm facing, I'm facing west. And there's a, geez, there's a hole here. There's a thing behind. Good gravy. Here, there's an archway, and then if I look east. Jeez. My goodness. Okay, let's try down past this way. You surprise a band of human fighters? What the? I am glad I don't need food and water. Yeah, good point. I mean, my characters don't need it. You know, I personally, Dan, am actually getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so whereas my player characters might be fine, fine this is actually taxing my my actual physical endurance. <laughs> I should have brought. I should have brought. I should bring snacks to these things. Um, at least there's no wandering monsters. They smile at you. All right, that seems okay. A parlay. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, they're sixth level. Holy shit. Oh, shit. They hit for 10 points. Oh, my goodness. Uh, here comes some magic. Here comes some magic. I see they're laughing at me. I'm slow on the uptake. What can I do here? Are they, are they in good position for, uh, for ye old stinking cloud? I guess I could plant one right here. Let's let's try that. I guess I, I probably need to move forward actually. One, two, three, I think. Uh, I think I can do this and this and then cast this here. <laughs> 